Hello and welcome back. Uh, now, uh, if you see on the board, I've already solved the profit bit uh, as far as uh, first accounting, uh, for, sorry, first basis period is concerned, just to save our time so that uh, I hope you have already done it as well. Uh, I will move out of the board. Now, if you could please uh, check this one, if you pause the video and check this one, if you, if it is, you did l just like that or you did something different. I hope you have uh, checked it with your, uh, your own work and I assume that both are exactly the same way. Now we've already done the first one. Uh, in the second example I did the same thing. Uh, the basis period, uh, the accounting period was of 14 months uh, and uh, I, I, but our basis period is of 9 months. So I took uh, 9 months out of 14 so that's why uh, our profit is 18,000 pounds in basis period. In the same way, uh, 3 months out of 18 months 6,000 pounds here and in the example 5 if you see 3 of 12 months and in example 6 if you see uh, 46,000 out of uh, 10 months so 46,000 here uh, I will move on this side so it is 46,000 pounds loss here in the brackets so I took 46,000 pounds now this is our 7 months period so I took uh, 7 months out of 10 months these are t 10 months uh, so I put it in the bracket so 32,200 now this is our loss as I said, even if, even if it is loss, our first accounting period will always start from the start of the trade and it will, it will end on 5th of April next year. So we have done the first basis period. Now again, could you please move to our, uh, our notes now uh, on page, page 28, please. The first basis period, we've already seen first basis period, it is the easiest one. Now comes the difficult one. This is the second basis period. Now second basis period is different in each case. So it will be different here. It will be different in this one and different in almost each case. So why is it different? Now for second basis period. Now move out of your notes, please. Look at the board now. Now the second basis period will depend on how, how long is your accounting period. But which accounting period? First accounting period because we haven't moved yet out of the first accounting period. Although we have done our first basis period, but our uh, accounting period, we are still on first accounting period, right? So we are still on first accounting period here as well. Everywhere we are on first accounting period. Now we'll see in first example, how long is our first accounting period. So according to that, we will make our second basis period, right? I will revise again. We will see how long uh, what is the length of our first accounting period? So according to that, we will make our second basis period, right? So let's see them. Our accounting date, how long is it? We can see here as well. They are nine months, aren't they? So we can see here because we have already done the calculations. So try to uh, save your time. So they are nine months. So our first uh, accounting date, our first accounting date is of nine months. Now come to your notes, please. What is the rule of nine months? If our first accounting date is nine months, uh, then what is the rule? Now, please, at your notes, I'm not sharing the screen because we have to do the question from the board. So please check on your notes. Second basis period on page, page 28, please. Second basis period. Now, there are few, few here. First one says if the first accounting period is more than 12 months. Now, is our first accounting period more than 12 months? No, it's nine months. So get rid of this one. Go to next one. If the first accounting period is less than 12 months, yeah, this is the one. So here, if you see on the board, our first accounting period is less than 12 months because it is nine months, isn't it? From 1st of January 2005 to 30th of September 2005, so it is nine months. So it is less than 12 months, right? So what is the rule? Read on, the, on your notes, please. If the first accounting period is less than 12 months, then the basis period is first 12 months of the trade. So first 12 months of trade. So basis period, let's come to the basis period. First 12 months of the trade from 1st of January 2005 to, so it is first 12 months of the trade. So it will be 31st of December 2005, right? I hope you got the point. So for second basis period, second basis period is uh, different in every case. It depends on our first accounting period. 
So we will look at the first accounting period in each case, then we will determine our second basis period. So if our first accounting period is less than 12 months, then we will take first 12 months of trading period. So first 12 months of trade. So first 12 months of trade are how many? So from 1st of January 2005 to 31st of December 2005, this is first 12 months of the trade, isn't it? First 12 months of the business. So we took the first 12 months of the business. That is our basis period. As far as uh, uh, this one is concerned, where our accounting period is less than 12 months, right? Now, this bit here, profit. Now, I hope you would appreciate at this level, you can calculate this bit here. Can you, could, you, could you calculate this one? Now, I, I hope you could do, uh, uh, if you can do, you can pause the video or you can see me uh, doing it on the board. Now, this one, 18,000 pounds is of nine months. So I'll take 18,000 pounds, right? And I will add something into it. What I will add? I will add 12,000 pounds and I will multiply it by uh, three and I will divide it by how many months is it? Is it for 12 months? Yes, it is for 12 months. So I will add 12, uh, divided by 12. So how much is it? I hope it will be uh, 21,000 pounds. If I'm not wrong, please make sure you do the calculations again and again because I'm not using the calculator, so I might do the mistake. So please make sure you use the calculator. So a second basis period, as far as profit is concerned, 18,000 pounds. That one is there. Uh, we can take straight away from first trade. So that is of trade of nine uh, nine months. So we took 18,000 here, but three months profit is still left. So three months worth of profit we will take out of this one 12,000. So we took 12,000 multiplied by 3 over 12. Uh, so all together, it is 21,000 pounds. Right? So I hope you can do it now. Now, uh, that was our second basis period where our first accounting period is less than 12 months. Right? Now, could you please uh, come to, uh, could you please move to uh, example 2, please? Example 2 of your, uh, of your uh, of the board example two now in example two if you see we are doing the second basis period aren't we so we have to see first accounting period in order to determine the second basis period so how long is our first accounting period first of Ju july 2015 to 31st of august 2016 now we can check from there as well but save your time you've already done it so just check it from here 14 months so 14 months our first accounting period is more than 12 months isn't it so let's check on your notes please second basis period first one it says if the first accounting period is more than 12 months then the basis period is the last 12 months of first accounting period it is a little bit confusing let's start again if the first accounting period is more than 12 months so our first accounting period is exactly more than 12 months it is 14 months then the basis period is the first 12 months no 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 so then the basis period is the last 12 months of first accounting period our first accounting period is this one so last 12 months of first accounting period so let's see then last 12 months so last 12 months means it will be ending on 31st of August 2016 and it will start on so we'll take 12 months so I hope uh, it would start on uh, 1st of September uh, uh, September 2015 I assume it will, be, it will be starting on this this date right so this is our last 12 months of first accounting period now these are 12 months now, could you please take the profit? Now, I hope that it is easiest one. Uh, if you take 28,000 pounds, uh, that is our profit, multiplied by 12 over 14, because these are 12 months. So whatever the answer is, we will put this one here. So please make sure you do this with calculator. I'm not going to do it. Now, this one is says, saying uh, when our first accounting period is more than 12 months, so if our first accounting period is more than 12 months, here it is 14 months, and we'll take last 12 months of the trade. So last, uh, sorry, not last 12 months, sorry, sorry, not 
trade last 12 months of first accounting period so our last 12 months of first accounting period is uh, 31st July uh, 30, 31st of August 2016 so we'll take 12 months back from here so it is from 1st of September 2015 excuse me to 31st of uh, uh, August uh, 2016 that is our second basis period of example 2 now please move to example 3 we are doing just the second basis period second basis period here what do we need to do in order to figure out the second basis period we need to look at the accounting period first accounting period let's see the first accounting period how long is it it is from blah 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 no, without looking at there you can look at here 18 months all right so 18 months so it is more than 12 months all right although it is more than 12 months but there is is there any other uh, rule here as well now if you see here uh, on the board it is starting from 1st of January 2013 and it is ending on 30th of June uh, sorry 31st of uh, third it is starting on 1st of January 2013 and it is ending on 30th of June 2014 now could you please tell me that how many Aprils are in this date how many Aprils I think there are two Aprils the uh, first April is coming in 2013 and the second April is coming in 2014 so in this accounting period uh, this is first accounting period there are two five Aprils coming so there are two Aprils coming so if happens like this then there is another rule now please look at the notes uh, third one it says in the second basis period I'm on the second basis period on the second basis period please check the fourth note it says if there are two five Aprils if there are two five Aprils in the first accounting period then the basis period is from 6th of April to 5th of April ie the tax year so here in our this example there are two five Aprils aren't they so when there are two five Aprils in our first accounting period uh, then our tax year will be from 6th of April to 5th of April so here you go from 6th of April 2013 now which 6th of April this relevant tax year so which tax year is it 13 14 so 6th of April 2013 to 5th of April 2014 so that is our tax year so it is exactly 12 months so if it is exactly 12 months 36,000 pounds into 12 over 14 so that is our whatever the profit is uh, we will write it's not 14 it is 18 months I beg your pardon that is 18 months 12 over 18 I think it will be 24,000 pounds if I'm not wrong please make sure you check it again anyway so that is our second basis period if there are two five Aprils in our first accounting period right so we are looking at the second basis period in each case let's move to next example this was example number three now come to example number four here on this one now in example four we are doing the second basis period in order to do the second basis period we will have to look at the first accounting period so what is our first accounting period our first accounting period is from 1st of January 2000 uh, uh, from 1st of uh, January 2010 to 31st of March 2010 so it is of three months only isn't it so when it is of three months uh, it is less than 12 months isn't it so it is less than 12 months so what we'll have to do if it is less than 12 months or if there is any other rule as well <coughs> excuse me so if first accounting period is less than 12 months then the basis period is the first 12 months of the trade so we did this one before as well I think uh, in example one so first 12 months of the trade so like this in here as well uh, the basis period is uh, from uh, basis period is first 12 months of the trade because it is uh, starting on uh, um, 1st of January 2010 and it is ending on 31st March 2010 so it is exactly uh, we will do exactly like that so our first 12 months of trade so 1st of January 2010 uh, up to uh, 31st of uh, December 2010 because these are first 12 months of the trade so we'll take 9,000 pounds and we will add something to in, into it uh, what we what are we going to add 
what are we going to add? We are going to add 6,000 pounds plus, uh, sorry, multiplied by, uh, how many months was this one? This one for three months, wasn't it? So we'll take 9 of 12. So we will take 9 out of uh, 12. And we'll do it like this one. All right? So that is the way to do it. That is our second basis period. Now, if you could move to example 5, please. Uh, second basis period of example 5. Now, example 5 says second basis period. We'll have to look at the first accounting period. How long is this one? 1st of January 2012. But here, look at here. 12 months. All right? So, if it is exactly 12 months, what is the rule? When it is exactly 12 months, then the second basis period will be exactly like the accounting period. Now look at the notes, please. It says, if the first accounting period is equal, this is the, I'm reading the second basis period, note 3. If the first accounting period is equal to 12 months, then the basis period is same as first accounting period. So it will be same as first accounting period. So first 1st 2012 to 31st 12 12 and it is going to be 6000 pounds because it is 6000 pounds all right now you may you might start to think here that this 6000 pound is being taxed again whereas some of it 1500 pound has already been taxed in the previous year isn't it likewise if you come to this example or this example example 4 now this bit here 21000 pounds now this 21,000 pounds include this 6,000 pounds, isn't it? So this 6,000 pounds has already been taxed, but it is being taxed again. Now if something like this happens, if a same amount is being taxed in two years, that is called overlap profits. Now what are overlap profits? Overlap profits are same amount of profits which are taxed twice. Now if it is taxed twice, whenever the business ceases, whenever the business ends, we'll have to deduct what has been taxed twice. So that is called a relief for overlap profits. That is called a, re a relief for overlap profits. However, if, the, if there are losses, losses cannot be overlapped. So there will be straight away a relief given for the losses. All right? Anyway, so that was our second basis period. So second basis period of example six. If you come to example, uh, uh, example number six, please. A second basis period. How long is our first accounting period? Our first accounting period starts on 1st of September 2016 and it ends on 30th of uh, June, excuse me, 2017. So total months are how many? Uh, 10 months. So if they are 10 months, they are less than uh, 12 months. So if they are less than 12 months, what we'll have to do? We'll have to take first 12 months of the trade. So first 12 months of the trade uh, from 1st of uh, September. 2016 to 31st of August uh, 2017 so that is the way to do it however there will be some difference here as I said the losses cannot be overlapped however the profits could be overlapped but the losses cannot be overlapped now in this example as you can see uh, there is a loss loss of 46,000 pounds uh, but if you do without looking at the loss assuming it is profit how would you have done it? This is 12 months profit. So this is 46,000 pounds. Assuming it is profit. It is for two, 10 months. So 46,000 pounds plus 22,000 pounds multiplied by 2 over 12. That was the way to do if it was profit. However, it is loss. And it is loss of how, how many months? It is loss of 10 months. Now these are 10 months out of which 7 months loss has already been taxed. Uh, already been uh, uh, adjusted for earlier but how many months are left only three months out of this are left as I said uh, prof uh, losses cannot be overlapped so we will not overlap this profit right so the, the way to do it is that whatever has already been taxed although we will take first 12 months so first 12 months are so 46,000 pounds uh, into 7 over 12 has already been deducted so we'll take 46,000 pounds into 3 over 12 that is the uh, that is the loss which we have to deal uh, and deal with we haven't dealt it with be, uh, before so it is still left and we will take uh, 22,000 pounds a plus 22,000 pounds 
and into uh, 2 over 12. So that is the way to do it. I assume. Let me check my solution on my notebook. We'll check it with that. So that is example number 6. Yep, that was the way to do it. Alright, so that is uh, our example number 6. I hope you can do it. Please make sure you do the calculations because I'm not doing the calculations. I'm just doing the uh, concept thing. Alright, so that was our, uh, that was our uh, uh, basis period 2. Now if you took, look at the notes, second basis period, we have almost done each and every bit. Now we will read each of them. First one it says, if the accounting period is less than 12 months, then the basis period is the 12 months of first accounting period. Right? So if it is less than 12 months, take the first 12 months of the trade. Example 1. If the first accounting period is less than 12 months, then the basis period is the first 12 months of the trade. Sorry. We'll read the first one again. Sorry. If the first accounting period is more than 12 months, so it is more than 12 months. So in one of these examples, there was more than 12 months. If it is more than 12 months, then the last months of the trade. Last 12 months of the trade. Second one, it says... If the first accounting period is less than 12 months, then the first 12 months of the trade, we have already done it as well in uh, example 1 and 4. Then it says, if first accounting period is equal to 12 months, we have done this one as well. So it will be exactly like accounting period. Then it says, if there are two 5 Aprils, we did that as well. And in the last one it says, if first accounting date is text twice, uh, sorry, if the first accounting date is text in the first uh, basis period, then the second and the a subsequent basis period will be exactly like accounting period. So it says that if first accounting date, what is the accounting date? First accounting date is 30th 9, 2005. So if it is uh, first accounting date is taxed, uh, if the first accounting date is taxed in the in, in, in any uh, in any basis period, then we will take the same thing. If the first accounting date is taxed in the first basis period, then the second and uh, sorry, second and subsequent basis period will be the uh, same as accounting period. So uh, we will take same like these are here. So we will take exactly the same what is our accounting period and we will put into our uh, basis period calculation. Right? So it will be exactly the same if our first accounting date. Now accounting date means this one, 30 accounting date is 30th 9 2005 when our accounting uh, when our accounts are made that is called our accounting date so our accounting date is 30th 9 2005 so in any case if uh, our first accounting date is taxed in the second basis period then the next basis period will be exactly like accounting period all right now in the third one it says third basis period if the first accounting date is taxed in the second basis period if the first accounting date is taxed in the second basis period, then the third and the subsequent basis period will be exactly the same. So we already know it. We already know it that if first accounting date, which is 30th 9, 2005 in this case, if it is taxed in these basis periods, then the next basis period will be exactly the same like accounting periods. All right? Now, uh, that is our third basis period. Then in the uh, next one, it says subsequent basis periods. So these are same, uh, same as uh, yeah, accounting periods. All right. Now I will wind up it here while I mm, fill these out to just save the time. Now, if you want to fill these out, uh, the subsequent basis periods, you can do that. Or if you want me to do that, I will just wind up this video here, and uh, then I will fill these bits here just to save our time. And then in the next lecture, we will do the rest. All right. So that's it, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.